What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we're going to be jumping into Superman Lost issue number 4. And so far throughout this series what we have seen is Superman making his way through the universe. Finding himself lost, just trying to get back to Earth. He has encountered a great deal of things out here in the nothingness of space. But after losing his survival pack, we are seeing him truly start to struggle, emotionally, psychologically. The Man of Steel is on the verge of breaking, and so with our story taking us five years into his adventures, will Clark Kent be able to make it back to Earth? And what else might he encounter along his journeys? Make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you like this video. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so our story is picking us up out in space. It is quickly recapping what has been ongoing. After losing his survival pack, he had put his Superman suit away inside of this thing. That is why he is so hell-bent on trying to track it down. And when those space dolphins had taken off, he went chasing after them. But he was never able to truly keep up. And then after destroying the interface that was helping him navigate the stars, he finds himself more lost than he has ever been. This is when we jump a little bit of time. Currently picking up at year 5 Lost in Space, we have an explorer that is making their way through this icy tundra, the ice quickly turning into grasslands. This explorer trying to avoid the Ascenders, because being in this area, this will easily get you 18 months in a determined camp for violating border zones. While running through the field, we see this explorer run into a mailbox. And when this person looks up, we see the house that Clark has built. And it has been explained that this part of the planet, this zone that Clark is in, it is rich in oxygen. But that oxygen, it is deadly to the people of this planet. But it appears that Clark has made his way back here. Back to that planet that he was so curious about. That he felt so guilty about leaving behind. The place that he is referred to as Kansas. And now here he has built himself a home. This is when she sees that Clark is up on the porch. Making greetings, she goes on to say that she knows she shouldn't be here. But going on to say that they had met years ago. And Clark had referred to this person as Jimmy. Having to ask the question, why is Clark here? Because they have all heard rumors of his existence. Some even referring to Clark as a god. And so Clark goes on to explain exactly what he is doing here. After being lost in space, he had used comets to move him in the right direction, trying to not exert as much energy as he can. The comets were a great opportunity to not only get some rest, but point him in the direction that he wanted to go. And in all of this, he finds himself to be very lonely, crushing this little artificial intelligence that he had been using. This was the only thing keeping him company. And so now he's out here in space, more or less talking to himself. He doesn't know where he's going, he doesn't know what direction to head, and he worries that he might be losing his sanity. But flying blind through a nebula, cut off from most stars and draining his solar suit's reserve very quickly, he searched for that tiny backpack. And looking back on it, he thinks that maybe this was selfish, instead of being useful. Instead of trying to help somebody or something out here, he expended most of his powers trying to search for his luggage. But one day, he finally finds it. Ripping this pack open, that is when he finds his suit, his last connection to Earth. And after finding this, tears coming out of his eyes. In this moment, he closed his eyes and he was able to listen. He may not be able to find Earth, but as he listened, he found that he was very close to Kansas. It took him roughly two years, give or take, to get back here. An invisible god that comes to Newark, performing miracles at night. Now the way that Clark sees it, these aren't miracles. He's just bringing medicine to the sick, food to the hungry. But now this person has tracked down Clark, and it has to be for a reason. You have taken great risks to come here, to come to the Forbidden Zone. You have risked everything, and so Clark must know what is going on in Newark. This is when Clark heads over to Victor after this conversation, asking Victor what the heck is going on. He tells Superman that it's really none of his concern. And so when Superman goes to investigate, 
what he finds as a full-scale invasion, with people fleeing for their lives. Clark wastes no time, he starts taking down ships. But even with Victor's solar suit, this planet's sun is barely half as powerful, and so he may not be able to stop this invasion, but he is going to help anybody that he can as he tells these alien invaders to put down their weapons. This is when it is revealed that these are old friends, the ones that had dropped him off previously. Now they're a little bit confused by being called invaders. They seem to be completely unaware that there are hundreds of thousands of people down on the ground. They are using all of their robotics to simply scavenge this city. And they did so because of a contract. A contract that Victor had signed. And so, of course, Superman goes back to Victor. And Victor goes on to say that here in the Republic, the people rule. The Zealots, they choose their own destiny. At one point in time, they had proposed some kind of planetary defense system. But the people had voted this down, as they did the space program and so many other things. But the Arkansians are simple people, believers in the magical, the absurd. Even now, they refuse to leave their ancestral grounds, even though it is sinking because of the polar ice caps. That the Republic is a glorious utopia, where war and poverty have been completely eliminated. The Arkansians are welcome to join them at any time, but they insist on staying in the mud. And the solution is voting them out, leave them to their mud but they have no voice in the affairs of the Republic. But Victor goes on to tell Superman that none of this is your concern, because now there are space vessels with star drives. They have finally come, and now he can finally go home. And so Superman goes back to his little orange friends. Superman is trying to get the Arkansians to leave this planet. He is hoping that these new friends will relocate them to a healthier planet. They let Superman know that inevitably this planet will be destroyed. The star that this rock orbits is unstable. Within decades, it will turn into a red giant. The problem is, these people will not relocate. You would have to drag them out of their homes to get them to leave. Telling Superman that he must accept that some people just can't be helped. But they say that once they are done, they will do him the favor of helping him try to find Earth. Superman refusing to leave these people, refusing to abandon this planet. They let Superman know they were not going to play this game with you. They don't want your help, and there is only one of you. Not even Superman can defeat all of us alone. But lucky for Superman, he's not doing this alone. As they look up to the sky, we see the Green Lanterns have arrived. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This Superman Law story has really been a lot of fun. I have thoroughly enjoyed the writing, the artwork, all of it together. Because it's not often we get to see Superman on the verge of breaking. Lost out there in space. Growing a beard. Not knowing what direction to go. Not knowing what to do. Having nobody to talk to. No companionship, just him and his thoughts. The man that brings so much hope to so many people. He's losing his hope. But this hope is finally renewed when he finds that survival pack. When he finds his cape. His last real connection to Earth. And instead of heading off and going to look for Earth, he recognized how close he was to Kansas. And so he went back. He went back to do what Superman does best. And that is to give hope to people, to help them in any way that he can. And in the typical Superman fashion, he could come in here, take down Victor, do all of this craziness. But we don't know how much that would destabilize the entire planet. And so what he does, he does in the shadows. He helps people here and there, giving them food, giving them medicine, but letting them try to sort out all of their politics on their own. Even now, with a full-on invasion, while Superman at first was taking down ships, after he learns that Victor is responsible for this, he goes into diplomacy. He tries to find a way that everybody can walk away from this happy, but obviously that doesn't work. But lucky for Superman, this sector has a Green Lantern, and the tides of this conflict, they are about to turn.
So let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series, go ahead and check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on with Superman Lost. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers, from $1 to $50. From loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you are unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.